Hello, this is John Brewer. In today's video, we're going to go over how research and development work in Slower Than Light. In Slower Than Light, each settlement has its own technology levels and components. They can trade breakthroughs with each other, but knowledge doesn't flow instantly from colony to colony. There are two fundamental types of research in Slower Than Light, basic research and applied research. Here on the technology screen, we see the slider for Earth's research allocation. The further to the right the slider is, the more research is spent on basic research. The further to the left the slider is, the more research is spent on applied research. Below the slider is a list of all the areas of research we have available. Basic research cannot be directed, but will give you access to more research areas for applied research. Each research area has multiple attributes that can be improved with applied research. By clicking their research checkboxes on and off, scientists can find ways to increase efficiency, decrease mass and power usage, and otherwise improve the way technologies work. Here I'm going to order my scientists to focus on decreasing the mass of my atmospheric and orbital guidance equipment, which are the computers that allow my spacecraft to make maneuvers both in space and within the atmosphere of a planet like Earth. Returning to the Observed Universe screen, I run the universe to the next event, and I see my scientists almost immediately improve my orbital guidance computers. Now we're going to take some of that research and turn it into actual components to use on our spacecraft. On the components screen, we create a new component. The new component screen lists all the abilities we can give a component, and approximately how much dry mass that will add to the component. Let's start by building an engine that uses hydrogen and oxygen, like the Saturn V rocket did. We call it the H2 LOX engine, and we say this component will be able to burn hydrogen and oxygen to generate thrust. Our rocket will also need fuel tanks, so let's create a hydrogen tank. Let's also create a liquid oxygen tank. Great. Let's create a flight computer so that this rocket will actually be able to fly. The flight computer will have many abilities. The more abilities on a single component reduces the amount of space it takes up and can reduce the mass as well, but the component will take much longer to develop than a component with only a single ability. Now, next to each component, we see its current readiness level. Components need to be developed over time before a prototype is ready to be flown. Let's run the clock forward again. Here we can see the engines and fuel tanks are ready for a test flight, but we still don't have the flight computer ready. Now we have the flight computer ready. Let's go assemble the spacecraft from these parts. This is a simple spacecraft, so we're just going to call it Orbital Rocket. We'll start by placing the flight computer, and then we'll add the engine. The H2 LOX engine burns 3 liters of hydrogen for each liter of oxygen, so we're going to need to add 3 hydrogen tanks and 1 liquid oxygen tank. Now that everything is added, we can take a look at the ship's specification. It has the ability to take off, land, transfer from orbit to orbit, and carries over 2.5 million liters of fuel. It has a total delta V of about 25 kilometers per second, which is more than enough to make it into Earth orbit. Now, all of the components on this spacecraft are prototypes and have a reasonably high failure chance. Once we fly the mission, though, you'll see their status changes to prototype demonstrated in space. These components will now have a lower failure rate. Eventually, components will move into flight proven status and be very reliable. That concludes this brief overview of Slower Than Light's research and development model. Our next video will cover colonies, resources, and production. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google, and back Slower Than Light on Kickstarter.